Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harvest Moon. Yes, cute. All right. Maybe we should try safe scumming this morning for a potential sunny, not not sunny, rather rainy Thursday. I'll try a few times. <laughs> If it works. Sun. I swear my, my file is cursed. <laughs> I've done this for three hours before where I have not gotten a single day of sun. What the heck is that? Oh. Random sickness. I don't know why this happens. The sick animal at the ranch. Why does Darren just want to kick the bucket? It's like, goodbye, cruel world. Why does it just go from normal to straight sick? That doesn't make any sense. It usually takes a few days. Nope. Sun. Try a few more times. Sun. Okay, well, maybe maybe one more time. One more time, perhaps. Maybe I need to summon the rain. <laughs> summon the rain with a blue outfit. <laughs> that was always my theory as a kid. Like, if I wore the blue outfit, I would get more rain. So I always think the blue outfit was, like, unlucky. But now I want the rain. I can't get it. Alright, well. It's gonna be a clear day, I guess. We're just gonna have to stumble on... Rain on accident. I really need a rainy Thursday. I can activate so many events on a rainy Thursday. Alright, anywho. Let's keep going. I need to make a little bit of progress. Um, yeah. Last episode, we got our 11th purple sprite, Juna. And now we just need to get one more. And then that grind will be over. And we can probably start proceeding through the game a little bit faster. <laughs> Um, we'll be able to sleep more, which means we'll be able to get our, get, like, a goddess gift counter up a lot faster, and we'll be able to get through years a lot faster as well, to poison the soup. Alright, we need some ingredients. Hot milk is done. We decided that we we're not doing candied potato anymore, unless we need to just kind of pat out Carter, because he is pretty much maxed out on affection. Fish Dave is done. That Griffin, Griffin's probably gonna be done soon too. It's Wednesday, which is a doctor day. Should go give him some milk. I wonder if how close I am to yellow with the doctor. <laughs> Luckily his events don't require <laughs> Require any special weather. I think we got everything. Let's set out for the day. I also scooch closer to the mic. I'm able to I'll lean back in my chair. I have like I have a chair with cushion, like, but I always kinda can't camp it way back from my desk. I don't know, maybe because I'm like I'm afraid like swiveling my chair is my you're playing a game. I don't want to play this game. No, Herb's got to snow. <laughs> Let's lose the game. First number seven. I'm gonna say higher because I want to lose this fast. All right, so we got 170 gifts down. You are wrong. All right, let me get my Harvest Sprite credit. All right, anime. Sprinkle some of that purple dust on me. I was just, I'm just scared of my chair, like, swiveling on my desk and slamming it too hard. <laughs> I do think, like, one day my desk is just gonna, like, split in half. Because <laughs> it's just a cheap Ikea desk that's lasted me, like, I don't know how many years. Probably, like, two decades. My brother owned this. My brother owned this desk. <laughs> 
And it just got like pawned off to me. He wasn't gonna move with it. Not the top. This is for me. He's already at red. Birthday. Maybe just a few more. Bitch. Yeah, found his affection. Warms you up. This kind of presence is always welcome. Thank you. Hi, Milan. Do, do, do. And all the boys that are in this building. Jeez, fondue. I like these. Thanks. Milan, the Forget Me Not Valley, so peaceful. Peace <laughs> and poor Milan was able to leave, but this is like some weird dystopia. This is the ranch. I love fresh milk. Thanks for sharing it. Ian serves great meals. And dear old guy. It's a pineapple. I think something's gonna go down if I share it with Rick. Right, that's good. We gave all the gifts and now we're back to. They have spam and the sprites, so we still need to do the animals as well. Sprinkle some more of that fairy dust on me. Hey Darren, why are you, why are you always getting sick? <laughs> Darren, Darren does not appreciate safe scubbin or sleep scubbin, apparently. Sleep safe scum. Not, not happy with me. Push, push, push. You guys do love me a lot, so you can possibly win a festival. Cow festival next week. We're not gonna enter it though. <laughs> we'll enter the sheep festival and lose because we didn't show that off yet. But yeah, we're definitely not. We're definitely not winning this cow festival. <laughs> not this year. Next year maybe. I feel like livestock uh, get hearts way faster than uh, poultry do, just because there's more ways to raise their hearts. Too much milk. Get another sprinkle of fairy dust on my head. You leave that seven tenths. Right, please help tomorrow as well. And let's not forget about our mushrooms. Sprinkle, sprinkle! There we go. Food full. Right now we just... Hang around these guys now. I, I really do want to heal you, sorry. Someone should cast a spell and make it rain ice. Then it'll cool down some more. That sounds scary. <laughs> Things up tomorrow too. <laughs> yes, let let ice rain from the sky. I mean, like hail can be very dangerous, but for some reason, like the image in my head went straight to like icicles. I was like, oh god. Thinking of getting pelted by thousands of sharp objects. <laughs> Nightmare. Okay, that's not much for ice from the sky. Cause even hail when it's big enough bonky on the head. And it and it hurts. So you I can heal you around seven tits. So we so I should check some locations to see if I can get cut seeds that don't seem to want to activate. Hey! What the heck is this? This <laughs> It's the physical checkup day! We've already done this, right? Yeah, we have we done this. This is this is a repeatable event. So I feel like we've done this. Mm, yeah, valley checkups. Oh, today's a today is a physical checkup day. You go and get examined too. Okay. Gotta check my head. Oh, looks like other people have come to be examined too. Well, I better get examined. Get examining. 
Mustafa. This is nothing new. <laughs> Next person, please. You had me wait. There's no one outside before. Now let's get started. Open your mouth. Uh, hmm, this means that. Mm hmm, oh, I see. This takes a look in your mouth like you're a horse and tries to determine what's wrong with you. All right, it's time to tell you your, your examination results, Milan. I feel like nowadays they just be like, we need blood. Your strength is perfect and you have no fatigue. Your body is healthy. Yay. All that magical fairy dust. Okay, well that's not the one I wanted. But I guess I'm not gonna get anything else except that. Sun to you. The son that is also a doctor. But doctor already has a father and he's also a doctor. Just forced him to kind of follow the same career path. You're an impatient one. Once I use my healing magic, I can't use it for another 30 minutes. It's so hot. Sorry, I asked too soon. Not really keeping a good eye on the time. We need around seven tenths. All right. Well, I got some days off. Reach, reach the days off. Hopefully I'll be able to stream more uh, this week. I just was not in the right headspace to stream last week. I was just spacing out too much and I just needed some other distractions to help help alleviate my mind. But yeah. I haven't played Moon Factory in a while, so it'd be nice to get some progress on that, I suppose. I like Still, I think I still have a bunch of dungeons to go through too. Like the, I've seen like images of like bosses that I haven't even like conceived before. Like oh, I feel like I've done. I've seen like a lot of the map, but I've definitely not seen all the bosses yet. Let's check. Let's check this area down here. Nope, no cutscene. Do something. <laughs> Come on, do something. I might have to do like a bonus episode where I just like use my other file to trigger all the cutscenes I was not able to get in this playthrough because some of them seems like they just don't want to trigger anymore. So I might have like like went beyond a trigger condition that's not listed. Like, I don't think any nothing says it's exclusive to year one. But it might be like a hidden condition that like people never really found out about. Or maybe I'm just unlucky. Like, looks like I can heal you around seven tenths. I mean, I'm ready to read some more manga. <laughs> After this, try to fall asleep. I'm so sleepy today, too, because hopefully, like, the coffee's helping me function a little bit, but. And, like, my. Like, went to bed late, and then my cat didn't help me sleep at all, because for some reason she decided she wanted to be fed at 4 a.m. I was like, this is not even remotely close to the time that you get fed. It's not like I can overfeed her. Or else she puked, so like, I don't know, it's like you're gonna be hungry anyway, and then I have puke to clean. Dun, 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 dun. A lot of times if she's hungry and um, I don't get up, she starts like romping around and playing. I'm like, why? <laughs> I refuse to get up though, like, I will not concede with your demands, like. You may make me angry, but I'm not gonna feed you at 4 a.m. Yeah, I think it like finally just whip out the automatic feeder for my cat. <laughs> Cause I am gonna need to like do a trip and I'm not gonna be able to like feed my cat while I'm away. So I figured well maybe like a timed feeder would be like a good option. I've 
I don't want to board my cats because Igor can't handle any like new situations. <laughs> when we like took him from my parents' house to this house, like he refused to move. He just like sat on a pair of pants until like he had to pee and then he peed on the pants and just like shifted over slightly so <laughs> and my boyfriend said he, d he does the same exact thing at like the clinic when they just had him up in the kennel all day um he just sat in the corner until he pissed himself <laughs> I was like okay cat he had like a litter box like two paces away but he did not want to move so you know, Igor would definitely be more comfortable at home yeah, I got an automatic feeder for Sybil, so he just has to get trained with it and learn not to be scared of it. And learn that it's gonna drop her food, so she doesn't have to ask me. I can do little tiny, little teeny tiny portions. I would like her to eat more often, just, yeah, just tinier portions. It's always a risky business. <laughs> always a risky business giving her more food than necessary because she likes to eat until she pops. And yeah, it just makes a mess everywhere. Do, 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 do. You stay here very late. Do, 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 do. I forgot to go to the Sprite House to see if I need to hire these guys out again. I probably did last episode. I also get someone to check on the cat though. <laughs> Wouldn't it be it would be terrible if like the automatic feeder just stopped working. Gotta make sure the batteries are good. Oh my cat starve. Alright, I think this is the last step I can I can do this. Yeah, I would definitely be more willing to pay a friend to take care of my cats within their natural habitat than try to board them somewhere. Uh, beautiful. I think we're all good. I don't know why I try to combine that stack. It's already, it's already pretty big. Okay. Do another day, shall we? We're saving. We're saving over file two today. Let's check the weather. Tomorrow sunny. What what a big surprise. Gonna go ahead and have a heart attack from the not surprise. Uh, <laughs> big corn. Alright, today's a gray day, so let's get him his corn. I also can't wait for my order of cat food to come in. It's been months since uh, Pedigree has been able to like... Pedigree? No. Irina. <laughs> the other P. Pedigree has been able to ship out any cat food. There's, so there's something wrong with like the logistics. I think that was a... Uh, that was the reason. They're not able to like ship it out because they have like their shipping center is like offshore. So, like they finally decided to base one in the US to like help pick up on orders. Yeah, the cat food I ordered took months to get in. I had to like whip out some like other cat food that I had. Like, I, I like trying my cat on a very particular, particular formula where it's like the Purina Live Clear because I'm trying to like stop with the allergies. And yeah, just try not to be like snuffly all the time. Also sensitive stomach. 
So it's a very spe specific formula that's like very hard to find in the stores. And then the wet food. Which, I don't know, I, I can give her like any wet food. Really, but... Try not to change it up too much. Give her something weird. I feel like we had to have wet food in like forever. <laughs> I like to give her wet food because I can tell that it keeps her hydrated because the water bowl doesn't empty out as fast. Plus, I, don't know, I just figured it would get boring just eating kibble all day, every day. Like, I can heal you around seven tenths. So you came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I actually love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. Hello. All right. I guess we should go around town. Did I make a cheese fondue for a rock? Okay. Just <laughs> figure some days I just forget to scroll down to that part of the recipe list. The cheese fondue. boys. Two boys that get along so well. The pineapple. Something's gonna go down if I share with Rick. Corn. Also good. Oh, baked corn. Thank you. Really want to get your yellow event gray. <laughs> this needed to rain. These. It doesn't say he doesn't say anything new with heart level. At least when he's in that back room. Some locations they say something different. Based on affection. For me. Marlin always always behind the race now. He's almost to orange though. Hundred love points away. Uh, not you. You. Really warms you up. This kind of present is always welcome. All right. More of that fairy dust on me. Seed maker. Some more strawberries that we can grow. And more yams that we can create. Twenty-three going on twenty-four. Let's get some more yams for fall. See how much profit I can make. Gonna be a flippin' millionaire. We have like the high class yams. None of those low class crops. Like those farmers in Japan that like try to farm the perfect melon. And it's like equivalent of like a thousand US dollars just to gift someone fruit. And it's yeah, <laughs> it's it's like not even that great. It's just it's just like an extra extravagant show of wealth and like the amount of money you're willing to spend on a person but I would feel I would just feel awful if someone just like spent a thousand dollars to buy me fruit and I'm like that's a lot of money and it could have gone to something else not a thousand dollar melon I don't know if it's actually a thousand or if I'm just like exaggerating maybe it's like closer to a hundred thousand yen and that that's usually equivalent to like 100 US dollars 
Hello. The yen's, I'm not sure if the yen is stronger now. I've been keeping close eye on foreign currency. I try so hard to, to try to score high, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Go. Green. Are we did enough. A little bit in the bottle. Okay. Uh, not there. <laughs> Just that's super far away. To go up all the way up the winding path. Alright, now we wait some more. Uh, I think tonight, I don't know if I feel like reading some more Skip Beat. Um, I'm at the part in Skip Beat um, in the manga where. She does the Fua, Fua Show um, promotional music promotional video. Where she gets to like dress up as the evil angel and wow her earlier ex lover, but like her. <laughs> they almost feel like he's just a very rotten sibling because they grew up together. She finally gets to show him up with her exceptional acting, and then they they like pointed out that the the partner girl that she has to play along with in the promo video is actually from the high school. I'm like, oh, so that's where that girl came from. I don't think they introduced her in the anime. This they just kind of introduced her as like a Fuwa Fu show like super fan. Like she had no other connections to Kyoko otherwise, so okay, th this is how they shoot corner in. I didn't even like put two and two in together um, until like it was pointed out, pointed out in the manga. <laughs> I didn't recognize the high school girl when she appeared in the anime. I'm not sure if I want to read more of that. It is it is one of my favorite little bits. They dress up so nicely. <laughs> they look so they look so cool. On like that arc. Or I think I might read uh I got book two of The Saviors of Book Cafe. The one where she gets isekai'd into another world and then she's like, What? I can't save this world. I'm flipping 30. <laughs> so she like Writes off a bunch of conditions to this like weird godlike creature that has like forced her to transport herself to another world. She's like, alright, let me just run this book cafe and give me all these powers so I'm able to do so easily. So I can just live a relaxing 30-year-old life. Um, under the condition that I'm just like the backup savior. <laughs> if something happens to the first savior, then I'll go help. And of course, you know something's gonna go down where she has to like go help. Is book two of that. It's like kind of cozy, but you know, like the actual savior, savior's a scumbag, and like this thirty-year-old savior is gonna be like the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> but she likes books and running a cafe. And yeah, she like lives in this like hole in the wall place, or like it's like way out in the forest, and no one knows about it except for this like one soldier. He just kind of wandered on by, on by on his horse. He's like, huh. And he just happened to like books. And he just hangs out there on his days off. <laughs> Falls in love with the cute looking cafe lady <laughs> that runs that runs the place. Check for this event down here. 
down here. <laughs> Enter from a different angle. Nope. We need to hire out any more of you guys. I'm just exhausted from all this each day after day. Okay, I do have to hire you guys out again. Using the cost 200 medals now a day. Fourteen hundred. That would seem like a lot. If I didn't have the billion metal glitch, <laughs> I would hate having to do play poker and the high and low game just to get my medals. I hated it before. It was very big time sink. I'm so glad that I could that the billion metal glitch exists. I feel like a lot of a lot of the stuff in this game. Is just unnecessarily long. Like, they didn't have to do this. They didn't have to make me heal a thousand times to unlock all these purple sprites. It's just very arbitrary and unnecessary condition to make you play longer. Like, this isn't fun. <laughs> this isn't farming. I'm not playing a farming sim anymore. My own stubbornness makes me want to complete it though. I want to complete it at least... Say I did it at least once. <laughs> oh, 101. Got, got all 101 sprites. And then I'm gonna have to do it again anyway, because I'm gonna marry the goddess in my boy version. Harvest goddess uh, marriage video. So, yeah, you know that thing I did? I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm gonna have to get all the fish again. I'm gonna have to talk to all these guys again. Feel joy. At least in that in this case I can I can brain dead it a little bit more. I have to find some like entertainment. I don't know, watch watch more movies. I don't really feel like watching any Ghibli movies at the moment, so I need something that I can kinda like half watch. It's a little bit hard if I try to watch anime um in the background if it's not dubbed, because like I I try to like focus more if I'm reading. Oh no, I die luck. I want something cold to drink. Please help tomorrow. Try at 8.20. For now. <laughs> I can easily run 7 tenths. Now, 8.50. That'll be the last time. I can heal you with you guys. Until tomorrow. Hmm, looks like I can heal you about seven tenths. Alright, bye guys! Bye! Please watch <laughs> See you guys disappear in the night. Just checking my bag in case of like it triggers some memory of like, oh I had to do this. Save. Do another day. Also, put in the effort to try to avoid any storms. Tomorrow's weather is another sunny day. <laughs> Back to this outfit. I got I got some rainy days with this outfit. It must be lucky. All right, today no mineral town boys are visiting today, so. Unless you can count Kai, but Kai is not even from Mineral Town. He's completely out of town in some unknown, unknown area that he doesn't want to go back to because I guess he doesn't like get along with his parents. His parents don't support his his uh free lifestyle. He just goes where the seasons take take him. I mean, that would be a very hard thing to do. And it seems like Kai supports himself while doing it, though. <laughs> As being, like, a wandering chef. It is... Yeah, it's quite impressive that he's able to just survive on his own like that. It's more than, like, Nami did. I think Nami had, like, support of her father. And, like, the reason why she was scared and, like, forced to go home is because she ran out of money. 
and would have to go back to her father in order to get more. And that's where the protag protagonist steps in and offers to marry. Marry her. You just say Nami just married, married you for the money. So she could stay in town. I guess love does factor into it as well, though, because she doesn't accept your blue feather under, like, no conditions. There are, there are definitely conditions before she accepts. So you came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offering you gave me. Toodles. Do, do, do. Hmm, looks like I can heal you around seven tenths. Sitting in my bag for a month. Next. Let's see, I wonder if I should visit Kira today. Do a little mine mine run. I gotta blow my nose, sorry. Slowly walk to the door with my left hand. I should play some ring fit after this. A little bit of exercise does relieve stress. And then take a shower. <laughs> my uh, clothes are just absolutely covered in hair from my cat. Alright. And I don't want to like shower and get changed and then work out and then I'll be all sweaty afterwards. Might as well just it all in one go. I'll start the evening and the next day nice and fresh. Where am I going? Gustafa? <laughs> what gifts do I have left? Milk. Really warms you up. Hi, Milan. Not overnight from all the talking I've been doing to you. Oh. I'll just concentrate hard to resist the heat and... Man, it's still too hot. Can't just like focus on it not being hot. It doesn't work like, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Environment has a very strong effect on you. I just pretend it's not there. Water, water, water. Got too many weeds. Get, get away! <laughs> my animals. Hmm, looks like I can heal you at seven tenths. Mm -hmm. right, let's... Rub down the poultries. Sudsy spot. Good enough. Laffy's still in a bad mood. Where's my cow? All the way over there. Oh, I'm pushing it. Doesn't matter where it is. Um, as long as there's grass somewhere on the farm, they eat it. Be on like opposite ends. 
<laughs> they don't have to be touching the square. Luckily. It's not, not like a wonderful life where the cow's like, I'm stuck on a pixel, so I'm gonna scream because I can't eat. <laughs> or they also scream because you're not in the same loading zone when it's time for them to eat. So that, like, you're in the habit of leaving, leaving your cows in the barn, they won't eat until you enter the barn. They scream at you because, like, it's past 5.30! Are you? Yeah, that's seven. Four hearts there. I need this thing to ask for healing. Hmm, looks like I can heal you around seven tenths. Okay. Let's see if my title's changed. I'm still an apprentice. Apprentice, never the master. Alright, well, we're going down, I guess. Go down anyway. Oops. Oops. <laughs> well, that was a good drop, and I know I was full, so I wasn't too worried. It's just kind of nice to be able to scum that. I butterfly save. Give Kira some lumber to get her to red heart level, and then we could finally try to conceive her bonus video. So many, so many videos I gotta do. So many bonus videos that I'm behind on. Be nice to finally belt them out, though. It'll feel- it'll, it'll make me feel so complete is like having a- a bonus video for Kira and I really wanted to marry her too. Just- she's just like so cool. So cool of a character concept and I wish I could marry her in the girl version. Where the heck is the hole? I guess not here. Go down another floor. This is a pretty bad floor layout, not gonna lie. Butterfly. No. <laughs> Maybe if I clear out some of this junk. Oh, shit. <laughs> I missed again. No, what butterfly? No, you're going down. We're going down. I missed the cicada. All right. Well, if it's not here, then I'll just. Dig for another floor. Try to bother. Really miss. <laughs> well, it's it's there. We could definitely drop down more floors than that. One sixty-eight. This is pretty good, actually. Oh no, the chickie's coming at me. It's approaching me. Menacingly. Oh, the chicken was not dead. I just looked down at the bottom screen. I don't know if I'll be able to make it directly to the Kira floor from here, or if maybe I should just like stop on like floor 200 or something. Smashy, smashy, smashy. smashy. <laughs> we actually got pretty darn close. I'm gonna be a little greedy. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if we can drop me down like five floors below. I'd probably regret my decision. Man, you should have just dug the nine floors. Why didn't you do that? It wasn't so bad. 46 again. Oh 
gotta be 20 floors away. That's not good enough. 250? Eh, I'll take it. It's kind of dangerous though. Lots of, lots of ducks. Lots of ducks. Go away. Lots of ducks and very fast creatures. how fast these creatures are, I might stress out my save. One, destroy the other one, but didn't quite turn in time. Didn't quite pivot. This is crummy. Oh god. The chicky. <laughs> just like a like, damage to my body. I must lose some HP just like colliding with with the character. Like, like it seems to me whenever it collides with your character and you take a swing at it, it takes less swings to destroy it. This is the floor that we're looking for. Lots of rocks. <laughs> Destroy. Two for the price of one. down a hole. Drink a body geyser. In case I do. The angry creatures here. Check that sheep. Now it's just a small fry floating on by. at the last the last stretch entirely possible hum 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 she seems really happy really close I'd like to see your world good night We are going up. We are not. <laughs> Old habits die hard. I was getting ready to just destroy all the rocks and and dive down a bit more. Okay. Uh, yes. Now we're just waiting for the rest of the day. <laughs> we did everything for the day. Let's get our purple sprite. Purple sprite healing, and then yeah, I guess we'll. So we'll do another bonus cutscene. <laughs> Gotta get all those those boy version heart events out of the way. There's still a lot of them, but like, we haven't even done half of them yet. Like if we're considering the Mineral Town girls, some of them have really weird conditions to trigger, like unnecessarily unnecessarily tricky or hard for a girl that you can't stay married to. It's just there for bragging rights. You can heal you around seven tenths. Alright, I guess I'll check to see if I got this right in a moment. Why won't you trigger? I need some spaghetti. Um, I think I can't. Can't make in this game. There's no spaghetti. Only make udon. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, looks like I can heal you around seven tenths. My pedometer is that. Flailing around the place. Goes up pretty fast. It's walking, it actually goes up one at a time. Running, it just counts extra steps. It looks like it daily ran seven tenths. Gonna get to eight tenths. I'm nowhere near a million steps. The goddess won't congratulate me for a while. No praise. Like I can heal you around seven tenths. Now I'm feeling sleepy now. <laughs> the coffee is wearing out. Maybe I'll finally be able to sleep well. I usually sleep, sleep well on my days off. By noticing. For some reason my cat only likes to bother me when I have to go to work. Maybe she like picks up on some behaviors that I do at night. I, th I feel like when I have like work the next day I kind of I kind of jolt awake a little bit more so I can check my phone and like make sure I haven't overslept. Even though it's like still dark out or like I get paranoid and like I gotta make sure my alarm's on. I just fear like one day I won't be on. But yeah, my day's off I like sleep peacefully until like 8. And I feel like my cat doesn't stir either until I'm ready to get up. Spend the whole day together. My cat's happy. <laughs> my cat is not happy when I go to work. <laughs> my boyfriend says she just hides all day. Doesn't even want to look at him. And then as soon as I come home, she's like, finally makes her appearance. And you're on seven tips. like a lot, but I don't think it was. It was like two days. Just feels like an eternity. Talking to these fellas. Oh, it'll be over before you know it. We'll get the last purple sprite. And then we'll just start blasting to the game. <laughs> this this, this uh, the sprite grind is just like a shackle. Eight tenths, woohoo! This is shackle preventing me from sleep scumming. The only thing I have to do to stand around, stand around with. Oh my god, cat's like, let me in. You've been in there for almost an hour. How dare you leave me outside? <laughs> Starts picking at the door with her nail, trying to open it. It's like, you've never opened the door that way. <laughs> I guess she does nudge it with her paw, but I feel like mostly my cat just busts to the door like the Kool-Aid man. She just opens it wide open. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why she does that. She like tries to be stealthy otherwise, but just it just makes a panicked entrance. I miss my cat that would enter and exit my room like very stealthily. She would like only nudge the door just enough for her to slip in and then slip out, and that was good. But no, not these cats. If I like leave the door open a crack, they don't like slightly push it open, they just like bust it open. <laughs> like I wanted it mostly closed for a reason, cat. They just left it a crack open out of consideration for you. Eight tenths. I think I could heal one more time. We're running out of wine. We're gonna have to get some more from Marlin. I think we have like another stack in the fridge somewhere. Just gotta dig through it. Skip. Oh no, the duck. Get away. <laughs> Animal abuse! Smacking the wild dog with your hammer. I 
Maybe we can't like tame the wild dog. Maybe, maybe it just needs a home. This looks mean. It's just hungry. Although there's some there's some dogs that will just kill livestock for sport. I think I remember hearing one story. Um, I like this sheep farmer. I like it's like a sizable sh flock of sheep. But like one of his neighbors was like so inconsiderate would just let his dogs loose in the morning and they live in like a rural farm area. So he just would just let his dog loose out of the house and they would just run wherever they wanted to and like every morning like a pack of dogs would come by and like kill a sheep for fun. And like you talk to the neighbors and his neighbors like didn't care. Just Kept doing it, kept letting the dogs out, and then finally the farmer's like, you know what, I have a right to protect my property, so he got his gun out and he shot the dogs. <laughs> like, that, that that was not a very good ending for anyone, but yeah, like, don't let your dogs run amok and just kill other creatures. And the farmer had every right to, to protect his flock, so. Alright, so we're saving... Yeah, on file two. Yep. All right. So since we didn't get any like special events, the the, the valley checkup with the doctors don't count because we already did that. Um, how about we do another Lumina event? Those are those are actually quite amusing. <laughs> the ones with Lumina. Get to see her spoiled rich side. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you around. Hello, hello. All right, so next heart event we're gonna show off. Now for this one, you actually need some special equipment for it. Um, you have to own the DVD player and a DVD, which you purchase both at Vans Shop on either the third or the eighth of the month, or days ending in the third or the eighth of the month. Um, yeah, I think you just need one DVD. They're not too expensive, and all you have to do is. Wake up one morning on a sunny day. And you'll get a heart event. Lumina's purple heart event. You have to have also seen her black heart event before this to activate this. Talon, do you have a minute? Kinda need that. <laughs> As a special furniture requirement to get this event. Sorry about the hour. Talon, I have a favor to ask you. What is it? I heard through the grapevine that you bought a DVD player. Is that true? It cost me a pretty penny. I've been interested in them for a while. Alright, they're kind of like... And she's like a rich girl, but yeah, like hardly any of the townspeople have like TV, so like having a DVD player would be kind of a luxury. <laughs> Not like you can go to the nearest electronic store. They don't have Amazon in this world. Would you show it to me? Show her? Absolutely not! Get out of my house! It's my DVD player! Now, let's be nice. Let's show her. Hmm, <laughs> it makes her happy. Yeah! Thank you so much! Well, please show it to me. Here it is, right in front of the table. Got a, got a big screen TV. Show it on. Wow, show me how it works. All right, well, first I gotta find the remote. It's probably stuffed in between a couch cushion. What do you mean I don't have a couch? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Thank you very much. I should get home. Well, please show me some more sometime. Okay, well. That was simple. Not, not overly romantic, but that's usually how... Like, some beginnings of relationships go, like, you invite the girl over to your house and, like, show her around her room. Maybe, maybe that just- that just gave Lumen a, an excuse to see your home. Yeah, just hang out by the- by the DVD player, maybe watch some shows. <laughs> Got a DVD and chill? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well that was- that was Lumina's Purple Heart event. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one. Alright, toodles!